Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in my How to Get There series. This time we're going to go to Black Rock from Pleasant Valley. We're going to do the other way to get to Black Rock which is through a transition zone at the end of the curve down here. It's called Long Curve. So let's, with further ado, I'll talk a little bit about Black Rock when we get there, but so let's get started. So we're at the Pleasant Valley Farmhouse. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna head down the road and head down to the end. That's the long curve. That's how you get to the transition zone for Black Rock. And it's called Keeper's Pass. There's a Keeper's Pass North and a Keeper's Pass South. Um, I believe we enter on Keeper's Pass North and then I think we go to South, but I don't remember. We'll find out when we get there. It's one of the two. <laughs> Okay, again, watch out for the wolves here. There's always like wolves in the orchard here. They just love to hang out here. I don't know why, there's nothing for them. If you notice, there's no rabbits or anything here. The rabbits are like all over there. <laughs> so we're gonna, throughout this video, I'm gonna like sprint and stuff. And so it doesn't have to be very long because it is a long way to get there. Um, it is a straightforward path, but it is, it is quite a long way to get there so I'm gonna go ahead and periodically sprint so it doesn't take so long to get there which is right now we're gonna start doing that so you're gonna head down here and there's a break in the fence down the end down here that you can go through this is a lot shorter than going you know out and then down the road so the transition zone here I if you remember if you saw my other video I went from Timberwolf Mountain through a cave system to get the Black Rock this one here you actually as an actual transition zone which is quite beautiful actually it's a very very nice transition zone uh, if you go through it and you can actually spend some time there there's a trailer in there that you can make like a little base if you like um, now there, <clears throat> there is a Timberwolves in Black Rock. There's no timber, there's no Timberwolves in the transition zone. But as you enter, enter towards the entrance of Black Rock, you'll start to see Timberwolves. <clears throat> as you go into the transition zone from here, you'll probably most likely run into a couple wolves. Now, if anybody remembers, has anybody been here before to update, um, this whole area down here past the car was actually blocked off. It was a big collapse down here. You couldn't go any farther. So they opened it up so they could put tra the transition zone in. And you'll actually go, if anybody has ever played story mode, there's a part of this transition where you'll actually go through the actual area where they did the story mode. Now it looks a little bit different, they changed it. But it's, yeah, so it's Keeper Path South, Keeper's Pass, and then we'll go to Keeper's Pass North, which is through a cave system, an ice cave. Now as you go over this bridge, you should most likely, well not always, but you might most likely will run into a wolf or two in here once you get past this bridge area into where the trailer is. So you might want to have your torch ready just in case. Is this beautiful, very beautiful uh, transition zone? I really like it. It's uh, very um, scenic. It reminds me a little bit like uh, Hush River Valley, sort of. If anybody's been to Hush River Valley, I'm going to be doing a tutorial soon going from Mountain Town to. There's this cat, the trailer right there. You can easily make a base there if you like and just hang out in this area. There is some deer and rabbit around and there's mushrooms and stuff to get. Um, of course, as usual in all my videos, I won't go in there because I don't. I try not to give spoilers away. So that, I'll leave that for you to go in and discover on your own what's in there. So 
this is pretty much a straight trip. Um, there, there's really not. Um, there's one little tricky area, but for the most part, it's kind of just following the paths down. So, I'm trying not to make this. I'll try to make this video as short as possible for you. Um, I don't speed up my videos. I usually just upload them raw, so I don't ed do ed any editing. So, and all the speed that you see here is just me sprinting. <laughs> So you're just really just following the road down here. Now down here you should run into a couple wolves down here. So be very careful. Don't just run down here when you get this part. Because you're going to need to go across this river. And there's definitely wolves here. Sometimes they're here. or And sometimes they're down on the river. But you're going to come down here by where this truck is. And you're going to go over the log. Over the log bridges. Yeah, you see there's wolves there. You're just going to go over the log bridges. And you're going to go up that little path that's right over there. Of course, you probably have to fight off a few wolves, I'm sure. Um, so just make sure you have your torch in your hand just in case you need to light it for the wolves. And... This is really a straightforward path. You're going to go through the ice cave up here. Um, if and when I go through the ice cave, sometimes it's a little confusing even for me, even though I know this this route. <clears throat> sometimes I do get sidetracked in the cave. So if I do just apologize, I'll apologize ahead of time for that. But I should be I should be able to make it through there without taking any wrong turns. All right, so you're going to climb up the up here now. If you remember, we're going approaching the area after the ice cave where story mode takes over all right and we're gonna go right into this ice cave Now, actually, you know what? Let me see if I have anything for fire. I should make a fire and make some torches because I don't have any. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and make a quick fire, shall we? We'll start it with the cedar and see what happens. So I pull the torch, extinguish it, and then holster it. Uh, I believe it's the G key on the PC. I'm not sure what it is on the console, but there is one, a command to do it. And we should be able to pull our last one. Okay, let's go. So going through here is pretty straightforward. It's not really that hard. I'm going to pick up this wood in case I need to start another fire. Okay? So you're going to just kind of follow it through the little the little pathways here. Uh, I would recommend you kind of look around and see if you can find any loot in here. We're just going to try to make it right through to the other end. Usually when you see like the blue lights, it means you're going in the right direction. <laughs> there are some side areas that you need to go, but I actually want to pick up that one flare in case I need a light, okay? Again, now, you know, you go through these things a couple times and you still kind of get a little lost. But we're going to pretty much just follow, the, follow this through until the end. There's really only one exit. Okay, so we're at the exit now. So I did really well going through here. 
the exit's coming up. Okay, so down here you're going to just kind of follow the path that takes you um, the easiest route. Like I said, periodically, this is kind of a long walk, so periodically I'm going to be sprinting through here to show you. And it's really easy to follow. Just keep following the path as you go. And I'm going to sprint, like I said, periodically here to get through this area. But now, this, you'll be approaching the area. Whoops. Yep. That was in the story mode. Now, like I said, I mean, you might have some kind of bloopers in here. I don't do any editing of my videos, so what you see is raw video. <laughs> but this is like, this area, if you can remember correctly, is a lot like in the story mode. We're going through the, the little pathways here. You'll have to crouch under this, little, this rock here. This is a lot different way to get there than going through Timberwolf Mountain. There's a lot more to go through, but it is a very beautiful transition area. You know, you can live in here for a while comfortably, but there's not a lot of wildlife in here. That's the problem. There are some bunnies and some deer over in the other area in the south area. Sprint a little more again. Now, if you remember, anybody remembers or ever played story mode, you're going to be coming into a very familiar area in story mode. Now, anybody might recognize this area that we're walking through right now, most likely. Forester's Hermitage. And we're going to go up the rose hip climbs. There's a lot of road, rose hip climbs in this game. <laughs> This is really nice. This is a really nice place, isn't it? I really like it here. So again, it's a long path. So we're going to sprint some more. It is quite a long way to get here, so make sure you have enough gear on you that you can sustain the cold and stuff. But we're very close now to Black Rock. We're, we're really close now. Okay, so like Black Rock is right across the 
the channel here and we have to kind of go around this way you can't get over there from here we're actually going to be going over that rope bridge right there um, they're kind of a little bit creepy going over them but if you keep straight you're fine you won't fall off of it Now, if anybody remembers my Ash Canyon video, we went over quite a few of these rope bridges when we were there. So if you just keep straight, you're good. You know, you can fall out through the holes, but it's nothing really to worry about. Just kind of go across it. And some people run across it. I've sprinted across these before. So we are nearly there. All right, and so when you get to the road, that is how you get to that little rope climb that's over there. You might want to go down that rope climb and check it out. Um, over here is where Black Rock is. And here we are, Black Rock region. Welcome to Black Rock, everyone. Um, I'm gonna do separate videos on some region stuff. Um, right now, I'm just working on region and regions at the moment. So I hope this video helps you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you, and thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Take care.